So TikTok is full of people making their own viral jiggle jiggle rap. And trying to auto-tune themselves using obviously the inspiration from Louis Theroux and his famous rap that seems to have gone viral everywhere. Although I've noticed not many people are singing and doing their own actions, so I thought I'd give it a go in this video. Watch through the end and maybe you'll see me doing the actions to my own jiggle jiggle rap. Anyway, uh, it's gone viral on TikTok quite a lot with people dancing along but not actually singing uh, to Jiggle Jiggle. Uh, Louis Theroux, a famous BBC broadcaster uh, who's been turned into a, a rap artist. Amazing stuff. I'm going to attempt to do the same thing here. I'm currently using Adobe Audition, which is paid software, but later on in the video, I will show you a free option as well. So don't worry if you haven't got this software. I have loaded here uh, some of the instrumental from Louis Theroux's famous Jiggle Jiggle viral rap. Now, obviously I can't play it because I'll get a copyright strike. So if you keep watching, I'll show you how not to get a copyright strike by using your own music. And it's very, very simple. So I'm using Adobe Stock here and Adobe Stock Audio actually has this really cool feature called Find Similar Audio, uh, which is brilliant. So what I did is I grabbed a little bit of the instrumental, clicked here, and then you can select a file and I've got the Jiggle Jiggle original file there. Then it will load it in. I can select a part of that piece of music and I can even stretch this out if I want. And then I can say, find similar. And Adobe Stock is going to find me music that I can license and use in my video without fear of a copyright strike. It's fantastic, isn't it? So it just uploads into the cloud, does its magic, finds things of a similar BPM. And there you go. There are all your matches that you can license and get ready to use for your own Jiggle Jiggle rap. Now, I did this earlier and I got my own track from Adobe Stock. And here it is. It's, it's kind of similar. It's called Groovy Hip Hop Vocal Lounge. Let's listen to it. Mike Russell. Jiggle, jiggle, wiggle, wiggle, that kind of thing. You get it? Yeah, it's, it's similar. And it's got a bit at the end, drinking some red, red, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, so we can work with this and I can definitely work with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own rap. And for this video, I want to be a bit unique. I really like cycling. I thought I'd make my own rap about like climbing the Alpe d'Huez and, uh, you know, conquering things on a bicycle. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I will now go ahead and record some vocals to this track. And in order to do that, I think I'll go ahead and use multi-track and I'll call this Wiggle Rap. It's just something easy. Click OK. And I'm going to drag this uh, groovy track onto track one. I might need to do this a few times, by the way. Or editor, wink, wink. You might need to cut <laughs> if I mess up. Uh, so there is the music. Okay, and now on track two, I'm actually going to select as my input just my microphone. If I click record, that means it's only going to record my microphone and not the music. So I can play the music and the music won't be double tracked onto a new track. So I can do something like this. I'm just going to have a go. I've written my own words. I mean, you know, I'm certainly not going to get a career as a rap star, but let's give it a go. Mike Russell on the mic. My bike don't wobble wobble, it holds, I'd like to see you gobble gobble, for sure, it makes me want to bobble bobble, you know, riding on my bike, your legs are on strike, climbing out the airs like a champion, no great, but luckily my feet don't ache, I've got a cake to eat on the top, sipping some red, red bull, it'll just have to do. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see I've laid down my vocal track there. Um, how do I make a preset for rap? Okay, there are some really good things that I can do. First of all, I've disabled recording now, and this is recorded really quietly. So let's actually go ahead and favorites, normalize that to minus three. Have a listen. My bike don't wobble wobble. It holds. I'd like to see you gobble gobble for <laughs> sure. Okay, this is really interesting stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is now I've normalized that and made that bit bigger. Let's actually turn down the music track so we can hear this. My bike don't wobble wobble. It holds. I'd like to see you gobble gobble 
Oh my goodness me. Right, we're going to need some extra sort of processing on this. So let's add some effects in the effects rack here. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and add some compression because that makes it fatter and bigger and easier to hear. So default settings, compressor on. Let's turn the threshold down a bit. Let's push the ratio right up to five to one. That'll be good for rap. Attack and release, keep it tight and make up gain going up. Limiter in case we hit the top end there of um, we don't want to distort. My bike don't wobble wobble. It holds. I'd like to see you gobble gobble for sure it makes me want to bobble bobble you know riding on my bike your legs are on strike climbing out Do you know why it's actually not sounding too bad we need a bit of eq though and we could actually put the eq in before the compressor we can always swap that around in a second so filter and eq uh right there are some there are some presets somewhere here for rap i'm sure i've seen them before um where is the rap preset i would love to get rap vocals there is a rap vocals preset somewhere Somewhere in Adobe Audition, they've created something that does that. Let's search through a few of those. Uh, parametric. Rap vocals. There you go. I knew it was somewhere. Rap vocals. My bike don't wobble wobble. It holds. I'd like to see you gobble gobble. For sure. That's sounding good Makes now. me want to bobble bobble. You know. Riding on my bike. Your legs are on strike. Climbing outdoors like a champion. No. Okay, well, we're getting there. I could probably do a few more edits to keep me on the beat there. But I'm just going to actually chop this up now because at the end we've got some... Some red, red bull. Okay, so just to make that good, and don't worry, the auto-tune is coming in a second. I'll show you how to do that because that's seriously needed, isn't it? Uh, right. so let's see if we can do a little cut here. So, I again, I could use Adobe Audition Remix, but I really want to get this right in at the right place. And I think we'll start with something like that. Let's mute out my vocals. Play. Okay, we're just slightly off beat there. Nearly on beat. Yeah. Okay, now we're on beat. Don't worry that it sounds all over the place at the moment. We'll soon edit that up. Just as long as we're getting the beat on the right place. It's not quite, not quite on the beat there. So let's sync those beats up. And then you see I'm going to like finalize this and make this really cool. So delete, delete, and zoop. There we go. Uh, right. Okay, we need to do a crossfade there to make it more natural. Perfect, that'll work. And then bring the vocals back in. I've got a cake to eat on the top. Sipping some red, red bowl. <laughs> okay. And then we need like... Red bowl. We need probably, actually it could just end like that. That's absolutely fine. But if I wanted to make it a neat and tidy end, I'd grab probably the last couple of seconds of the rap track uh, that I've licensed from Adobe, put it onto a new track, and then just whack some reverb on there. Let's go to um, reverb, studio reverb, and we'll go for uh, vocal reverb large. Bull. There you go. And you can just hear the decay on the last note there. So we've got this. Mike Russell on the mic. My bike don't wobble wobble. All right, now before I go and do anything else, I'm going to OCD this. Uh, control or command backslash will give you a sort of bird's eye view. Oh, and shift E, by the way, a really good shortcut. Boom, gets rid of the tracks you're not using. Shift E, control or command backslash. Now we're sort of working with what we're working with. Okay, so let's cut this so I'm on the beat and sounding like a pro rapper here. Mike Russell on the mic. So let's start off with this. Let's move this. Let's move on the mic on the beat there. And we'll move that there. Mike Russell on the mic. Okay, bit unnatural there. Mike Russell on the mic. My bike don't wobble. Okay, let's bring that in there. My bike don't. My bike. Okay, so my bike needs bike needs to be on the beat, really, doesn't it? My bike. My bike don't wobble wobble. My bike don't wobble wobble. It holds. Okay, I'm playing catch up there a bit, so let's stretch that out a bit. My bike don't wobble wobble. It holds. Okay, again, stretching, just clever little cutting tricks to make me keep time. My bike don't wobble wobble, it holds. I'd like to see you gobble gobble, for sure. It makes me want... Okay, again, I'm losing time. You see, I'm not a pro rapper. That's where I'm using audio magic to make me better. For sure, it makes me want to... For sure, it makes me want to bobble bobble. For sure, it makes me want to bobble bobble. You know, riding on my bike, your legs are on strike. Climbing out the like a champion. No break, but luckily my feet don't ache. I've got a cake to eat on the top. Sipping some red, red. Let's bring that. Eggs are on strike. Climbing out the like a champion. No break, but luckily. 
I'm going to make that edit somewhere different just to see if we can make it sound better. No break, but luckily my feet don't ache. I've got a cake to eat on the top, sipping some rian. <laughs> just a little bit out of sync there at the end, so I'm going to eat on the top. Eat on the top, sipping some red, red bull. And then the, the final thing to this rap is just going to be some beautiful autotune, which is so easy to do in Adobe Audition. Time and pitch, you can even do it in multi-track, automatic pitch correction. And then we've got, we've even got preset extreme correction. And let's listen to what it does. Mike Russell on the mic. My bike don't wobble wobble. Solo so you holds. Hit. I'd like to see you gobble gobble. For sure, it makes me want to bobble bobble, you know. Riding on my bike, your legs see are the correction going on there. Climbing out the wares like a champion. No break, but luckily my feet don't ache. I've got a cake to eat on the top, sipping some red, red bull. Okay, and you can hear a little bit of a key correction there. We're on the chromatic scale, but if I was to put it onto, uh, say, C major, let's listen. Sipping some red, red bull. You can hear a bit more of a correction going on there. And you can choose your key. Sipping some red, red bull. <laughs> That's a bit off, isn't it? Sipping some red, red bull. So you can do all kinds of things like that by playing around with the scale and the key and getting it tuned in to the piece of music you're actually using. Chromatic will give you a sort of lighter, auto-tuned feel. So it's worth to bear that in mind. I think I'll actually leave this on. C major. I quite like what was going on there. And then just the final touch in Audition before I skip over to some free software. And that would be to either add some reverb or some echo. We could do some echo, actually. Let's listen to the beat of this. Okay, so we got one, two. We got one, two there. One, two. Okay, so 650 there. So to add in some echo really easily, all we do is go to this track and we go delay and echo, echo, and then we just go 650 and say on the other side to make it slightly stereo and spacey, 651. Sort of on the mic. On the mic. My bike don't want. Okay, that's a little bit too intense, that echo. So I'm going to bring the feedback and echo level down so it's a little more background specific. And back to the start. Mike Russell on the mic. My bike don't wobble wobble, it holds, I'd like to see you gobble gobble, for sure, it makes me want to bobble bobble, you know, riding on my bike, your legs are on strike, climbing out the wares like a champion, no break, but luckily my feet don't ache, I've got a cake to eat on the top, sipping some red, red bull. Okay, so there you go, that is how you can create your own viral TikTok rap that uh, kind of you know, gets close to what Louis Theroux was doing there with Duke and Jones uh, with the jiggle, jiggle rap. Okay, so you've seen it in Adobe Audition. And you've seen how easy it is to work in Adobe Audition. And I highly recommend working there, but not all of us have paid audio editing software. So over here in Audacity, you can do a similar thing. And I'm going to just do the last few lyrics uh, and show you how I can auto-tune and get that similar sound effect and do everything I've just shown you, but for free over here. I've got a cake to eat on the top, sipping some red, red bull. Okay. So there's a little sample of the track recorded in Audacity. And then I've installed an effect here called G-Snap. Now, G-Snap is a free auto-tune plugin. You can download it, and I'll put a link in the description to this video so you can go grab it for yourself. Really easy to install. Once you've downloaded, you drag it into the Audacity plugins folder on your computer. You go to Add, Remove Plugins, and you look for G-Snap. It'll be somewhere here in your list of plugins. And when you find it, just make sure it's enabled. Click Enable if it's not there. And then I can go into Effect. I can go to G-Snap right here. I can select this. And if I want to work really quickly and get the same effect as I had over there in Adobe Audition, I'd click the hamburger menu here, factory presets, and share the pain is a great preset. I think that's a little bit of a kind of play on the fact that T-Pain likes to auto-tune a lot. So select that one, play back the preview. I've got a cake to eat on the top, sipping some red, red bull. Okay, you can hear like subtle uh, kind of auto-tune going on there, but we can, um, we can easily go for different presets. So we'll go for snappy C major. And we'll start from the start again. Play. I've got a cake to eat on the top, sipping some red, red bull. Now, obviously, you can hear there's lots more snapping and tuning going on there. We can select which notes we want to use. I mean, obviously, the less of the notes that we choose, the more auto tuned it's going to be. I've got a cake to eat on the top, sipping some red, red bull. 
So there you go. That's probably just having one note there at the bottom, just that slight woo auto tune, just the same as you get in the jiggle jiggle rap from Louis Theroux. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've not done it already, do click subscribe so you can geek out with me on all things audio. And if you do get around to making your very own jiggle jiggle rap, make sure to let me know about it in the comments so I can go watch it. If you've not done so already, check out musicradiocreative.com. This is where my team of 200 plus audio professionals can help you with voiceovers, radio jingles, DJ drops, podcast intros, music, ads, and much, much more. Until the next time, keep calm and produce on, my friends. Creative.